What's up everyone? In today's video, you're gonna learn about how to edit a TikTok video like a pro without any extra editing software. If you're into something like that, then keep on watching. The last few videos about have been about more about growing your brand and the last video specifically, we talked about how to make yourself more comfortable on camera. Well, now that you've become a little more comfortable, we're gonna head into the next segment, which is another platform I wanna to talk to you about, which is TikTok. And if you've been living under a rock, you probably have never heard about TikTok, but now, especially these days, TikTok is going crazy. Everybody wants to be on it, everybody is on it, and everyone's spending so many hours a night, like myself, on TikTok. So if you wanna be one of those people that don't just watch, but actually post yourself on there to actually grow your brand and help build your business, this is the video for you. So before we hop into today's video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna have more videos like this where I focus on social media and growing your brand. So make sure you hit those two buttons so you know exactly when I'm gonna post and you get to see them all. So what I'm gonna do is gonna hop into TikTok. Uh, let's like turn that down because the moment you hop into TikTok, you'll notice that there's a following page for people that you follow. So there's two options on there. And there's a for you page and if you haven't heard about the for you page what the for you page is is that TikTok will actually find videos that they think you'll like and what they'll do is they'll put it on the for you page right in front of you because it's for you so you can either look at them scroll through them like them if you want comment if you want you can actually there's actually an option with an arrow pointing to the right that's the share option so what you can do is send this to the people you follow uh the people you follow here on TikTok, your friends on TikTok or you can set it a message, you can post it on your Instagram story, do it a DM, you can post on Snapchat, Facebook Messenger, it gives you all those options to share the videos to. That's partly why I love this, this platform because you're able to share these videos so easily with people, with like your friends, your family, or someone else that you think will like the video. At the very bottom, you can report, you can hit not interested, so if this is stuff you're not in into, you can hit not interested and TikTok will stop showing you types of videos like this. You can also save the video for later use. You can duet the video, which is actually really cool. We're gonna duet this video. We're gonna go here, we're gonna hit duet. And there you go. So my face is next to the actual video that's gonna be playing. So if I hit record, that video is gonna play at the same time while I'm recording what I'm gonna do with what I'm gonna do wet to this video. So it's like push, push. Oh yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, get it, get it. Stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna delete that, get out of there. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there's a home button, which if you hit home, it'll refresh the for you and following page. You hit discover, discover you can actually type in hashtags at the top, top in users that you've been looking up, different people, there's users at the very top, there's top users, videos, sounds, and hashtags. Um, videos are like just random videos from people that you're looking up, let me exit out of there. After you're on the app for a little bit, you kind of know how it works. There's a heart button, there's a comment button, there's a share button. There's also at the very top, above those three buttons on the right side, there's a follow button. So if you want to follow this creator, you just hit that button, and then you get a check mark saying that you're following them now. So now you can go to your following page and then th that user stuff will pop up on your page, stuff like that. Okay, um, you can also click on that button to see someone's profile. So you can see what things they've been posting. This person has 1,670 followers, um, lives in California and different things like that, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go to my, my profile, for example. So let's say you want to start posting for yourself. What you do is you actually hit the bottom plus arrow and it brings up this whole uh, posting app, this whole area before to post on. If you look at the top, there's a sounds button. You, you click the sounds button and they'll be playing sounds. Um, my phone is screen recording, so I don't think it's gonna play the sounds, but basically you can search what sounds you wanna to listen to. So roses, this song popped up. Um, you can hit sounds again. And if you favorite some songs, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. You go to your favorites app and the favorites will pop up on the side and you can actually see what songs you favorited and play them. You can play them back so you can hear them. And then once you hit play, you can hit this red check mark on the side and this will actually put it on top of the video for you. So now you can use that video when you're recording. What else can you do with this app? You can go to effects in the bottom left side. And what's cool about the effects is there's so many different things you can do. For example, there's a face zoom. So the face zoom is, is cool because you can go left and right and it'll follow you. There is, oh, the long face. This is also a funny one. I, know, I see a lot of people, I even use this, this effect a lot. It's pretty funny. There's shake to show like a lot of uh, anxiety and anticipation, like <gasps> what's going on? There's this one, which is like, hey, hey, which is funny. I like that one. There's also this one where if you move once in one app in one side, it'll follow it all throughout the rest. There's just so many different effects that you can do that can make your video stand out and be really funny or be, 
informational, you know, there's this, there's new, there's interactive. There's so many things that you can choose from here, which makes TikTok really cool and really uh, different on its own. That, uh, well, this one follows your face. So you can go this way, this way, and then you don't want it, you hit the cross with the circle. Editing, beauty. There's all of these different effects that you can do. There's a clown, ooh, scary. There's a clown. So there's all that stuff that you can do with hit effects. If you want to upload a video that you've previously recorded on your phone that you want to put on here, you hit upload on the on the right and it'll pull up all of the videos that you've recorded. So you basically just hit that button, hit next. You can select multiple. You can post up from zero to 60 seconds on the app for each video. So then after, if I wanted to post it, I would hit next. It would upload it right here. And then what's cool is you can also add a filter to it. So if I wanted to put some cool little portrait filter, I can put that to change it up a little bit, make myself look a little bit prettier. Um, there's a bunch, there's landscape portraits, there's landscape filters on here to change it up. There's a food filter. There's so many different options. So let's, let's get out of that because I want to I wanna get out of this. Let's go back to the original page. So I have that. If you look on the top, uh, the right of the screen, you can flip the camera. Flip the camera so you can go that way or you can go point it away or point it to yourself. There's a speed. So basically you can either slow down the video so you can go like this, hey, slow it down, hey. You play it back. You see that it's slower, right? So you can, you can switch that up. You can do normal speed. Uh, there's beauty mode. So what beauty mode does, and I know a lot of people try to use this, it puts a filter on your face to kind of like smoothen out the edges of your face to make yourself look pretty like Oh, okay, dang, I, I look more pretty. Not really, I look the same. It doesn't really work for me. Um, and then there's filters, of course, which I said earlier, so you can pick different filters while you're pre-recording this. And then you can even go to a timer. So I liked, I would like to use timer because if you put it to certain songs, you're allowed to... Oh, oof, why is I saying that? <laughs> Not cool. We're gonna go back. So what's cool about timer is that you can pick the sound and tell it when to stop. So you can record this part and it'll stop right when you want it to stop. So let's say I'm gonna record this for five seconds. It'll count me in three, two, one. Da, 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 da. It'll play the sound and then it'll stop right where you set the timer. And then you can do it again to finish out the rest of the song. So start countdown again. Bum, 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 bum. So like it basically did that. And then you can finish out the song if you want to, or if not, you don't need to. How to favorite sounds and how to favorite effects. So to favorite a sound, you go to the bottom right, you see the spinning disc. You basically click that and it'll pull up the song to the sound to the video. Then you just hit add to favorites. So once you add to favorites, you'll actually have that as you're at your disposal later on when you want to use the sound. And also once you click on the screen, you can also click use the sound and you pull it up right here and you can use it already on your video. So you don't have to like favorite it and come out and, and upload a new video, the a video to record of yourself. It gives you the option to use the sound right away so you can immediately start recording that sound for your video. Also, you can uh, save effects. Effects is another step. So for example, this one's burning for this guy. So what I do is I click it and then I hit add to favorites on top or I can even hit this middle button right here on the bottom of the screen and I can click it and this will put it up on my uh, my uploading uh, spot so I can use the effect right away with the sound attached to it. Sound, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. So I pick a favorite, I come and I hit, let's just hit this video, right? Hit the, hit the red check mark. And then you're gonna do a little fun little dance. Okay, now that I have my video, I'm gonna hit the red check mark on the bottom right. And you can either do a voiceover. So voiceovers are pretty cool and a lot of people have been doing it lately. Basically they'll record a video of whatever they want to do and they'll come and put it in the app and they'll hit this button. And then they'll you you basically just hold the hold the button for as long as you want to record. So I say, yeah, I was doing this dancing in my living room and it was pretty cool, right? And then we go back. You can either dancing in my living room and it was pretty cool. Care if you ever message me again? See, so and then you hit save. So now that voiceover will play um, when I play that video. All right, so now I can adjust clips. So adjusting clips will remove any text effects. You, you hit that button. What that'll, allow, what that'll make you do is you can shorten or lengthen a video that you just recorded without having to do the video all over again. So this is helpful where if you just wanna 
um, shorten it down or make it longer. So we can hit cancel, I don't really wanna do that. Voiceover, I showed you how to do already. Um, on the bottom left now, you can hit sounds. So I can either change the sound if I wanted to change the sound to something else that did, like the last one didn't work for me, if I wanna change to something else, this will give me an option to change it. So I can change it, pick something else. And what it, what's cool is that I can even hit the volume. So I can add, if I, if I recorded original sound, I could add, I can turn up the volume on that and turn the soundtrack volume down and vice versa. That'll give you a cool little option. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the text. So text is imperative because it can help keep somebody engaged in the video or can help tell a story, right? So what I like to do is I like to do, I'll just put, I'll just put hi. And then you have different options here. You can hit classic, typewriter, handwriting, neon to give you different fonts. But you also can back up and you can either, and you can even uh, highlight it like this. So you, it makes the text stand out a little bit more, just like that. And then you hit done. And then you can make it bigger, make it smaller, move it wherever you want to move it, delete it by moving it to the top of the screen. And you can also set duration. So you hit set duration. You can change how long you want that text to be on the screen or not. So here, if I want to keep it on just for one second, I'll hit OK. Hit OK there. Let it play back and you'll see what it does. So I'll keep the text on there for a little bit, then get rid of it because I told it to go away because I only would set it for like one second to be on. So, or I can add stickers emojis, put like a happy face on here if I wanted to, different things like that. There's so many things you can do on here, you just have to keep playing with it so you figure out what you wanna do. So after you shot the whole thing, you added your text and stuff, um, I'm gonna show you exactly how to post it. So now I'm gonna hit okay. I had the text on there if I wanted, but hit, I'm gonna hit next. So here on this last page, right before you post, you get to add your text, add your caption. So I'm gonna say, chilling in my living room. Granted, I'm not really gonna post this, but this is just for demonstration uh, purposes. Okay, I'm gonna put that. If you hit select cover, what this will allow you to do is pick the cover you want. So if you go back to the home page, or you go back to your own profile page, you'll be able to see that the cover, um, this is what people will see when they just look at your, your page as a whole. And it does like a little boomerang effect where it goes back and forth. So you can like pick the most interesting part of it. You looking the other way, you can just like pick it from there, you pick the cover. And then important part is the hashtags. So hashtags are in there and it'll give you uh, trending hashtags. So right now it's never fit in, nature at home, beauty hall. These are all hashtags you can pick, but remember you don't wanna just throw in random hashtags. You wanna, you want it to be specific into what the video is. So like for example, for this one, I might just wanna put bedroom or like quarantine because we're all in quarantine right now, just chilling in quarantine. Right, so right there, or fun. Very simple, very easy, just different things. And I'll also give you suggestions on the bottom of which hashtags to put. So we can hit done there. And then now you can also, if you look at the bottom, you can make who can view this video. So you can make your friends, you can make it public, you can make it just your friends, or you can make it just private. So if you hit friends, obviously it's your friends, so the ones that you follow and they follow you back. But private, what's cool is about private, if you, if you hit post, it might, to you, it'll look like you posted it, but it's only visible to you. So this will allow you to save a video of it on your phone, but also it'll be on your page, but just private, so no one else will see it besides you. Um, another important part is drafts. So if you hit drafts, it'll actually just save the video like a draft. So it's not posted, but in order to get back to that video, I actually had a hard time finding this, is you go back to, you go back to me and you hit drafts, it'll be in the first, it'll be the first uh, option to pick. You hit drafts and then you can pick which which one you you want to edit. So I click on this one again, and I'll bring it back to this page. And I could also always go back to re-edit the video if I didn't like what it looked like in the first place. And that's pretty much it. So now you know the basics on how to use TikTok. So now you can go and use the app and become TikTok famous because that's what so many people are trying to do these days. Hopefully this little tutorial helped you out and now you'll be able to edit TikToks and then get more of an idea how to use TikTok as a social media platform to help grow your brand. Um, so if this was in any way helpful, please make sure you hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget, be marvelous. Thank you.